Well, greetings once again. I'm uh, making this video really to kind of vent a little bit. Um, I'll I'll get into that in a second here. I had uh, these are two two repairs that are basically the same repair with an extra added step on this one, the 122A-1 that gets the full service teardown, cleaning, and recharge. But these are two similar repairs. They're getting a, uh, a resuspension, which, if you've seen my other videos, a resuspension is a new spider, this piece down here, plus a new foam surround. And this also got new lead wires and a new dome. Now, customers send me things to be repaired. This particular example came out of a JBL L166. It was fully original. 1977 was the build date according to the voice coil. This was a pretty much a straightforward resuspension. Clean the old surround off. Remove the old spider. Uh, the lead wires were oxidized on this, so I put new lead wires on it. And uh, did a full service teardown, cleaning, and recharge of the motors. So these come from a gentleman in Pacifica, California. Really nice guy. But this is a repair technician's uh expectation when it comes to basically putting something back into new operating condition again still using using the original cone and the original voice coil nice job everything went smoothly by contrast i got this one this customer decided to attempt to do a refoam uh, without ever doing it before. And uh, it's a mess. Now this customer, because I've been taking too long, is angry with me. Now, let me point out a few things. This wrong dome didn't remove the original dome correctly or the glue around it. So he cut the dome off and I guess he used the shim. The surround is the wrong size. It's a little bit too big. It's very sloppy. It's got excess glue on it. It actually has a rub in it. There's a gap between the cone and the surround. And we go and look at the back side. I mean, there's glue slopped on here and it's the wrong it's the wrong uh, gasket, which the supplier, whoever sold on the, re the replacement surround, supplied the wrong, the wrong dome and the wrong gasket. Okay? And we go back here to the back of the cone where it's glued on. And we've got all this extra glue that needs to be picked off by hand and not destroy the edge of the cone, okay? Here is the first one that I've done. This is the, this is the cone to its mate. Now you see I still have to clean off some excess glue around the edge of the cone to get the new surround, the new proper size surround to fit on them. And these, this particular group of speakers has two different cone sizes and they're about a quarter of an inch difference. Don't quote me on that. I got to look at the dimensions, but they're different. The, the actual cone diameter on these speakers, you can see this one is a smaller diameter cone, which is going to take a different surround to fit correctly. Uh, so extra time, literally five times, maybe 10 times as much time 
just raw time goes into saving this cone and then prepping the edge of the cone, of the back of the cone for a new surround to be able to reuse it. So what happens is when I get something like this and I've quoted a price for it and then I get something that's in this condition that's been repaired, repaired, sorry, I'm having a hard time talking because I'm angry, repaired so poorly that now it's up to me to try to save this speaker and put it back to looking like this. And this one has black aquaplaws on it. This one doesn't. This one has aquaplaws on the back. But that's neither here nor there. It's the fact that I have to fix somebody else's screw-ups that thought they would give it, give it a try, which happens all the time, then it ends up here. And then they get pissed off at me because it's taking too long. Well, I take pride in my work. This takes time away from this or anybody else's repairs in here, say these. <laughs> and then I get anger because it's taking too long. Well, I'm sorry. If you want it done right, it's going to take a little bit extra time. This is doing it right. This and this take a lot of extra time to do a nice job so it works when you get it back and you don't have to send it off to somebody else to actually do it right because I do it right here the first time. All right, let me let my blood pressure go down a little bit. This was a great repair. This one is known as a pain in the rear. P-I-T-A, it's a different acronym, but whatever. These I like. <clears throat> These I like too because I like putting these things back into nice usable condition. I don't like getting stuff that has been ruined basically for me to fix at the same price as this. Okay? Maybe I'll start charging more. When I see it, I'll go, no, sorry, it's going to cost an extra 100, 200 bucks. Anyway. Pacifica bound, Kansas bound. Talk to you later.